In this video, we are going to learn one of the important uh, image transform that is the Walsh transform. Walsh transform was invented in 1923 by Joseph Walsh. While studying uh, different transforms, we uh, give more important to the kernel part and understanding of the kernel is very important. Now, this is the Walsh transform kernel shown for one dimensional signal. In a given one dimensional signal, let us say f of x is a one dimensional signal, total number of the points can be represented with this capital N. Capital N equals to 2 raised to N, this is uh, known to us. So, let us say capital N equals to 8, so 2 raised to 3, so small n value is equal to 3. So, i is varying between 0 to n minus 1. And kernel part here is the product symbol shown here minus 1 raised to b i of x into b i of b of n minus 1 minus i of u. Now, important thing in this kernel is how to calculate b i of x, how to calculate b i of x. So, here b i of x this x value let us say x equal to 6, we have to write its binary representation. So, 6 its binary representation is 1 1 0. Now, in this binary representation we have the locations this is the 0th location first and second. So, this 0 1 2 these terms are for let us say what you can say the i. So, if you want to write let us say the p 0 of 6 that is ith bit in the binary representation we have to note it down. So, ith bit uh, b 0 of 6 equals to 0 ith bit then b 1 of 6 first location its value is 1 then b 2 of 6 here we will get value is 1. So, in this way uh, we can calculate uh, ith bit in the binary representation of x. When we know this then the minus 1 raise to this part very easily can be calculated then this part can be calculated and we can uh, very easily write uh, this kernel part its representation. Okay. So, using this kernel our next uh, task is to go for one dimensional Walsh transform equation for this f of x. Here one dimensional Walsh transform or a forward Walsh transform is written here. So, w of u is the notation 1 by n is a multiplication term f of x is the one dimensional signal given signal for which we are going to obtain Walsh transform it is multiplied by the kernel just now, but we have discussed. Okay. So, when we can write forward Walsh transform very easily, we can also go for the inverse Walsh transform and major change you will observe that this multiplication term is not available in this inverse Walsh transform. Okay. In the inverse Walsh transform, our intention is to get the signal f of x, w of u is already there, you have calculated it and kernel part is as it is. Okay. So, when we know uh, Walsh transform equation and uh, for the calculation of the W of u using linear transformation matrix method and when we know this kernel part, so very easily uh, for a given signal we can write uh, Walsh transform values, we can calculate Walsh transform values. Let us uh, say we have uh, capital N equals to 8 capital N equals to 8. So, we know that uh, just now we have discussed 8 equals to 2 raise to 3. So, here in a given signal f of x in a given signal total 8 values are there, 8 numerical values are there and our inter interest is to calculate w of u. For that purpose our task is to calculate uh, what you can say the linear transformation matrix and when we know linear transformation matrix for calculated from the kernel very quickly w of u can be calculated. 
So, this is a what you can say for n equal to 8 standard uh, linear transformation matrix where this plus indicates plus 1 value and minus indicate minus 1 value. So, linear transformation matrix for n equal to 8 uh, will be useful when you want to calculate Walsh transform when capital N equals to 8. Similarly, we can calculate n equal to 4 and all or for all other different values based upon the kernel. Next part is a discussion related to the two dimensional forward Walsh transform and two dimensional inverse Walsh transform. So, f of x y this is the image we can say the two dimensional signal image x y. So, the kernel part is written we using two variables u and v w of u and v and input we have two, say, uh, two variables x y. So, these variables are used here based upon the kernel what we have discussed and forward Walsh transform relation is written. When we compare forward Walsh transform and inverse Walsh transform here we have an n by 1 by n term written here, here we have uh, 1 by n term written here. Uh, remaining things one can very easily write based upon uh, forward equation, forward Walsh transform equation for the two dimensional. So, this uh, equation can be used to calculate state way uh, two dimensional signals Walsh transform as well as its inverse transform also can be obtained very easily. 